So what I like to do is I like to play a short clip from Frank Turek's recent Q&A that he held at LSU. Uh, one in which I'm not actually in a disagreement with him. I actually agree with his point, the points that he made in this Q&A, uh, specifically in this question here that, is, that the young student's about to ask him. But I would just like to add my own point and my own take to the, um, the final answer to the question. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip and then give my response after. People wouldn't say, well, I can sin and ask for forgiveness later, so I'm just going to go on sinning. Uh, so are there consequences of having premarital sex? What kind of consequences do you mean? Are there physical consequences, moral <laughs> consequences? Sure. Okay. Uh, would I go to hell? Well, you can be forgiven for any sin except blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which means you're rejecting Christ. Mm -hmm. But any sin can be forgiven. But we don't sin to go, you know, I can just ask God for forgiveness when this is over. Because that wouldn't, that wouldn't indicate a changed heart, right? If you truly have trusted Christ and you're truly out of gratitude for what he's done for you, trying to follow him, because as he said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, mm. then you wouldn't have the idea, I'm not saying you have this, I'm just saying in general, people wouldn't say, well, I can sin and ask for forgiveness later, so I'm just going to go on sinning. In fact, Paul deals with that in Romans chapter 6, as you know. May it never be. We're not going to go on sinning, so grace may abound all the more. We, we're, not, we're, we're not slaves to sin anymore. We're now following the Spirit. So you can be forgiven for anything, but there are consequences to sin for all of us, no matter whether we're saved or not. There are natural consequences of sin, too. Sure. sure. So the question the young man asks is this is what he asks he says what are the consequences of having premarital sex will i go to hell for fornication that's pretty much what he asks now this is a good question but one that needs to be understood biblically so let's deal with the first part of the question which reads what are the consequences for having premarital sex what young men and women need to understand is that there are many negative consequences to disobeying god in regards to sex and those consequences will be dished out by god himself for your sin i remember once asking a guy that uh, that thought what he thought about AIDS, HIV, herpes, and chlamydia, etc. And his foolish response was, and this guy was supposed to be a Christian. His response was, man, I just hope I don't get it. That's why I strap up. I wear two condoms sometimes just for that very reason. Now, obviously this guy was not a Christian, but he was a professing Christian. And I remember saying to him after we said that was, have you ever thought that those diseases were the judgment of God for sin? And he sat there and he looked at me and he said, you know what? I've never thought about like that before. See, to answer this young man's question, he needs to understand that sexual sin is deadly. But here's the problem. It's not just sexual sin that will send you to hell. You are a sinner. Let me say that again. You are a sinner. OK, you are already headed to hell. That's your that's your problem. That's your problem. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Your problem is not sexual sin. Your problem is sin. And the answer for that sin is repentance and faith in Jesus Christ, the one who died for your sexual sin on the cross.